hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be me just getting ready for the day um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna let it be a talk through or if I'm going to just do a voiceover because I'm not sure if it's long and I don't know really what I was talking about so it might just be a little video of me putting on my makeup for the day and um, I'm pretty sure that's what it's gonna be because I don't know if what I, I don't really remember what I talked about and I don't know if it's me if it was even interesting <laughs> so yeah this like I said this video is just gonna be a quick video of me getting ready for the day and I do show you the products that I use so if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them down below and don't forget to subscribe before you leave oh I know I look horrible those under eye bags are no joke when you have a kid that won't sleep at night so i'm gonna go ahead and start off by moisturizing my face and as i told you in my previous video i'm using the shine free and i'm just gonna apply that all over my face it starts to feel kind of sticky a little bit or like it gets dry pretty quick so rub it in pretty fast And kind of just let it dry and then after that I'm gonna use the milk hydro primer I just do one pump of that and I kind of rub it in my fingers and I'm gonna just stick it here in my t-zone mostly and just this also gets sticky and tacky and you can feel it on your face and I kind of just push it in all over Focusing mostly in my T-zone area. And kind of just give that a second to um, dry before you go in with your foundation. I just use the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I've been using it for years. Um, I really, I've tried to switch it up, but I feel like nothing, in my opinion, is as good. So if it ain't broke, don't fix. And I just kind of smear it all over my face. And then I go a little under here because you don't want to look like you have on a mask. And then I'm just going to take my damp beauty blender and blend that, push that all in. So, like I said, these under eye bags are no joke. I've been having like a really tough time with my daughter at night. She's falling asleep at a decent time, but she is waking up and wanting to eat and um, she's just crying so we give her a bottle of course and she just kind of tosses and turns a lot and just is kind of all over the place and when she gets like that I get her out of her crib and bring her into the bed with us and um, I don't know she's just kind of not having it and I don't know what's going on I don't know why she gets so upset I don't know why she still wants a bottle in the middle of the night like she's still waking up for one but of course I'm giving it to her if she's hungry I'm not gonna starve her um but she's almost a year so I thought by this time she would kind of not be waking up so much anymore. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. So I'm still trying to figure out how to get her to sleep through the entire night. Once my foundation is on, I just use a little bit of... The LA Girl Pro Concealer, this I'm going to use for my um, cream contouring and I just dab a little bit here on the Beauty Blender and just go 
in the spots that you would contour, cream contour. Sorry I'm looking over here, obviously you can see my mirrors here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cream contour here. birthday we already booked a place you know we are just getting in now all her decorations her theme is unicorns and um we're still just kind of figuring out um decorations and like stuff for centerpieces and things like that so that's kind of where we're at i'm super excited i cannot believe she's turning one i feel like the time flew by and it makes me sad but happy at the same time i know it's kind of dumb but i'm like so sad i cannot believe my baby's turning one um but yeah I'm trying to decide if I'm going to vlog the party because a part of me just kind of wants to enjoy it and not worry about having out a camera. But then I also want memories of her first birthday. So we'll see. I guess we'll see how that day goes. Now I'm just concealing and I highlight the middle of my face just so that it's even and not just my under eyes are bright. A video next of um, all my must haves for my daughter that have helped get me through the first year things that I felt like because we bought so much stuff because you know she was our first baby so we didn't have anything so we bought so many things things people recommended things we just wanted and I felt like we bought so much stuff and didn't even use a lot of it and I was thinking of doing that next just showing you guys what I feel like is like an absolute must and then maybe something separate of what we bought that we don't use because like I said I think we bought more things that we didn't use than things that we did because we went a little overboard and I was so concerned too with getting her nursery together and she doesn't sleep in there she still sleeps in our room i just have the crib on the side of my bed because i just i can't imagine putting her in a separate room i mean i have baby monitors and stuff but i don't know i think i have a little bit of separation anxiety i'm not gonna lie do my brows off and come back with them just because it takes a long time so no brows and now we got brows so it's pretty quiet in here today because my husband didn't work so he has my daughter in the other room they're watching tv and i get to film peacefully now I'm going to move on to the eyes and I'm going to be using the palette I showed in my previous video, the Hanging in Hawaii palette. I told you it was going to be my new go-to, so I'm going to let you guys see it in action. And I'm going to take um, Shaka, which is this pretty light brown here, and put that in the crease. I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, we don't really have anything that we're going to be doing today, so I might just keep it pretty simple. 
This one's really, really light. So I'm gonna darken it up with coconut. And as you can see, they're super pigmented. I mean, uh, that's just dabbing my brush in there once and kind of shaking it off. So, super pigmented. Then I think I'm going to go ahead and dip into Honolulu, which is this like maroony color for the edges. We'll be careful with that one too. For the, I mean the outer corners. Just to deepen that crease a little bit. Um, it looks maroon in here. Maybe it's a dark brown. I don't know. I'm going crazy. I feel like it looks like a dark brown on my lids, but like a maroon in the actual palette. So I just wanted to deepen the crease a little, so I guess it's fine. And then maybe I'll use... Let me get a flat brush real quick. And I'm gonna put this on my lid. So pretty. I love when um, the shimmery shadows are actually shimmery. I've had a few palettes that, you know, they come off shimmery on your finger and then once you apply them with a the brush, it's like, where did the shimmer go? So that's what I really like about this palette. It's, <sighs> sorry, you actually get it. I'm gonna use Hoola, just a little bit of Hoola, and put it on my brow bone. Just a little bit, cause I don't really like to leave an empty brow bone. Then after that, I'll get my fluffy brush again and blend all of this in so you have no harsh lines. Super simple, super quick. I'm still trying to hurry up and get ready. I'm gonna dust off this powder because I think we're just gonna run to the grocery store. But nowadays I try my hardest to get ready so super fast. I'm going to go in with my bronzer, which I also talked about in my previous video, the Kylie Cosmetics bronzer in Almond. And this also is super, super pigmented. So I just take a big fluffy brush like this and I literally dab and shake it off because it's so, so pigmented. You don't really need a lot. Double chin, double chin, go away. If only it worked that way, right? And then here I'm using the same blush I always use, which is MAC, MAC Gingerly. The bird going crazy out my window. I'm going really crazy out that window. And then I'm going to just go ahead and set my eyebrows really quickly We're almost done i can't believe how fast we got ready today and then once that's done i'm gonna go ahead and set my whole face with my all nighter I forgot my eyelashes once again. I forgot my eyelashes in the other room. So, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on them and let them chill out while I do my eyeliner. Nothing new here, that's what I always do. Just because I like them to get a little bit tacky. For my eyeliner, like I said before, nothing new here either. I just use the e.l.f eyeliner liquid liner 
and I usually always do a wing. It's gonna be kind of hard to see, I think, because I get all up in my mirror. having a little bit of trouble sleeping through the night what do you guys recommend like do any of you mamas have a secret or I mean I give her she usually goes to bed about nine o'clock and she that's when she has like her last bottle she kind of falls asleep right after so I'm feeding her you know right before bed um, yeah I'm feeding her right before bed because I thought that would help her sleep longer because she's going to sleep full but she's still waking up so yesterday I was kind of going through um, my videos before I was gonna post my video yesterday like with the whole editing and all that and I came across um, a video I did while I was pregnant. I guess it was like my um, baby shower haul or like what I got for my baby shower. And oh my god, I totally forgot I did that. And I was so out of breath in the video. I obviously never posted it, but if it's something you guys still would want to see, I don't mind posting it. Uh, I also came across a video, uh, obviously it was before that, when my husband and I went to do our registry at Target when I was still pregnant. And I don't know why I never posted those videos. I know why I didn't really record and do videos while I was pregnant because I was always sick. Um, I had a really, really rough pregnancy. I was always sick. Um, I kind of like hibernated a lot of my pregnancy. So I didn't really have, you know, what am I going to record if I'm just taking a nap? So I guess those were some that I had from before it started getting really bad and yeah I was looking at them and they're kind of funny so I'm like should I edit these and put these up or do you guys not care because I'm not pregnant anymore just let me know what you think it almost kind of made me miss my pregnant belly and watching myself and seeing how out of breath I was I was like oh I'm glad she's here and I'm not feeling that anymore is when you're out of when they say you're out of breath it's no joke not being able to breathe is not fun okay so that's it for this look um I did it really fast I like I said I try to get my makeup done super quick now because we try to get in and out of the house as fast as we can I want to make sure that my daughter is fed and in a good mood before we leave the house so I try to get ready super super fast now um, so if you guys have any questions on these products anything that I used feel free to let me know because I don't think I mentioned everything that I used um and if you have any videos that you guys want to see please let me know as well give me some ideas because I'm still like I've said I say like I said a lot right I know I watch my video and I'm like stop saying like I said but like I said <laughs> if there's any videos you guys want to see please give me some ideas because 
it's really hard for me as i've told you before with the whole new schedule and figuring things out with my daughter so if there's any videos you guys want to see feel free to leave them down below and don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it and um let me know what else you guys want to see and do you know makeup videos mommy videos vlogging um any of those things so whatever you guys want to see from me please let me know and yeah that's pretty much it um don't forget to so you can be a part of this little family that i have going on here and we'll see you guys in the next one